Okay, Liam. So the first thing we had the problem in terms of your club face impact. I'm sorry, not so long. Was aiming a long way right. Okay, you knew that, so therefore you just run a golf club a long way left, hoping that as far left versus as far right. Got more back to target. There's probably a threshold around kind of like seven or eight time where you can kind of play with it. Okay. Yeah. Six five would be a bit further right. Your chip shots and pitch shots should go left because you pull everything. And then with the driver, it's like, ta-da, lost ball. Okay? So, much, yeah. Exactly. Now, if you look at your posture there in terms of your setup, very close with your hands, quite rounded and hunched at setup, not much space there from your feet to the golf ball, okay? You've got to kind of go through this routine for every single shot, club down first behind the golf ball, okay? Giving yourself space for your arms to hang, and then build and set your feet up around that. If we look at these sort of two postures there, now you can see really there from that position there. Yeah, much better, but at least now you've got some room for your arms to swing in here somewhere. Looser in the grip pressure, better posture, arms hanging down. Once you're in that position there, the swing thought, now the only swing thought, as you go back now, as you swing the top of the back swing, wait a second, swing the top of the back swing, your club now, as it gets to the golf ball, is going to win the race to the golf ball above your hands, okay? So the club's going to basically square up and almost feel like you're flicking it slightly, almost a release of that golf club. So if the path then goes left, Okay, the ball then goes left as we can see the ball now on the screen, starting way left of target, but staying left of target. Yeah. This one here now, okay, you came the same across the ball line, the face was open, the ball at the screen kind of in the middle there, and then your club path was kind of that way, and the ball's in the screen there. So there's an awful lot of this going on. Once that ball's at the screen in the middle, kind of started off, let me just miss actually, where'd it go? Get the screen. Didn't quite see it. It's curvy off the right there. But you saw most of your shots were aiming kind of in this area here. And as you know, golf course, when you play on the course with the driver or any club that matter, there's a lot of left to right spin there. So we've got to try and reduce that left to right spin. If your bad shot on the golf course, okay, is that, the first thing we've got to try and do now is create that. And then in time, once we trust that we can send the ball this way, we'll take that red line and bring it back to that. No point in you trying to change your path and swing from the inside because the face is open, as it is obviously. If you'll pull over there somewhere and you'll just quit golf. That's, yeah, that's just there's no <laughs> point. Guys, I'll bring your right foot back and swing on the inside, get your elbow to your side there, all this kind of stuff. Watch your videos and stuff. And yeah. I just do, you all say swing from the inside, but I yeah. try to, try to, try to. It's just kind of, that's exactly. why the elastic is Over, over works. the top. People say to me, yeah, I, I slice the ball, guy, I'm over the top. And I'm thinking, like, well, good. Because if you weren't over the top and you sliced it, the ball would literally on the first end of the button be on the marquee. <laughs> I mean, listen, if you come from the inside with a club face open, where's it going to go? Well, that's that where club face has got to square up first, and you've got to start pulling it left. I said, this guy today had a lesson with this morning. It's the same exact problem as you. We couldn't hit a drive for top feet. It was 50, 60 yard slices. Now we can't hit the ball right. Literally can't hit the ball right. It's actually quite, I say, go on, hit the ball right for a tenner. Go on, a tenner. Double or quick. And he's like, I can't get it for that. But it's that kind of jigsaw you have to kind of go through, like puzzles where ball's going right because the path is left, the face is right get the face to the path, and then we can move the things back to the middle together. And at least if you do it this way, if you're 50 yards right and then 50 yards left and zero, it's playable -ish. If you're 50 yards right then 100 yards right, yeah. you quit golf. Yeah. You're never going to get to zero, are you? So get that club face square, that sensation of that club face snapping. To do that, this arm's got to be loose, that grip's got to be looser. Yeah. If you're keeping your left arm straight here, you're just going to keep the face wide open, isn't it? You're never, never, never going to square that club face up at all. That club's got to win, or the feeling to you, that club's going to win the race to kind of this left side. What you do is you do this, uh, yeah. and then to stop that, you then just do this and pull across this way. We've got to get the sensation this club is now catching up and almost flicking past the hands. It won't be, because your hands are still going to work quite quick anyway. It's feel. Yeah. Real and feel are always two different things. Yeah? Square the club face up first before you start the path. And once then you start getting the ball going left, but staying left, and if anything, drawing a bit to the left, then gives a shout. He's like, okay, right, let's get the path then at the target. If we start saying, I'll work the path back this way because of da 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 da, A, you won't do this first, and B, the ball will be going over there somewhere. Yeah. So get the ball, you practice now for the next, I don't know, couple of weeks on the course or on here or whatever. Just how many balls can you get staying left to target? Once you get them staying left, then we can bring the ball back to target with the path. Right. Okay, yeah. make sense? Yeah, great. Good man.